diagram is going to come in really useful in this question. So let's say they, this is A and this is C. At some point we're passing through B. It's not necessarily halfway, so I'm just going to put it here. During the trip, Callum asks his friend how far they've cycled and his friend replies one third as far as it is from here to B. And then 10 miles later, Callum asks him how far they have to cycle to reach C and he again says one third. So this is implying that the uh, first time is going to be before B and the second time after B. So let's just imagine it's here, for example. So this amount is going to be one third of this amount. So that's what the first sentence is saying. How far have they cycled? One third is it as far as it is. So if I say that this, I could either say that this is x and then this is one third x, but it makes a bit more sense to make the nice whole numbers and say we've got x and then therefore this is three times as much. So x and three x. Let's look at the second situation. So 10 miles later, we'll come, well, actually, I can put that onto my diagram. This is going to be 10 miles. It asks how far they have to cycle to reach C. And he replies again, one third as far as it is from here to B. So now I've got this to be one third, whatever this is, which means I can say that this is Y and this is three Y. So again, I'm avoiding fractions. And that is my, that's my whole problem, basically. And I can just now use that piece of information, 10. So it must be that 3x plus 3y is equal to 10. And what we're actually trying to work out, how far from A will Callum have cycled when he reaches C, we're actually trying to work out 4x plus 4y. So what I could do is I could, first of all, I could factorize out the 3, or I could just imagine just divide through by 3, so x plus y is going to be 10 over 3, and therefore 4x plus 4y, which is 4 times x plus y, is going to be 40 over 3. And I'll just do a little short division to get this, uh, it's, you know, as a mixed number, so 3s into 4 go 1, remainder 1, then 3, remainder 1, so 4x plus 4y is going to be 13 and a third, uh, whatever unit we're measuring, or miles. That is the total amount.